Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how if we created a far beam to go up between our kitchen and family room. We already had a beam up there. It was a uh, drywalled. It was a metal beam and it was a uh, drywalled and we attempted to remove the drywall but it was so glued on that we just decided it will just have to be dressed <laughs> instead of removed. So we, I bought a 12 foot pine long foot pine and uh, this is a rough cut pine I did not sand it or anything like that I we just put it up with screws and some wood glue and then the middle one we did we did have to trim off a little bit off of one side but that was actually the what we trimmed off fit perfectly into the gap and that the bottom one um, the way the bottom one fit there was a gap and the the piece that we cut off we fit in there and then we used Elmer's wood glue filler to fill everything in and sand it all of it down. This cost us $120 to do. Um, I wanted to stain this to go with the same stain as the top of my stairs. If you have not seen that video, I will link it at the end. If you want to check that out, how I restain my stairs. However, because this was so rough, the stain just wasn't going on the way I would have liked it to. I should have known, but... I thought maybe it was going to be different. I actually don't know what I thought. So I ended up just rubbing it in at certain areas um, without worrying to cover it all up because I had figured out that this wasn't going to happen. So I just, like I said, just added it in certain areas and tried to rub it uh, across and just kind of create darker wood tones throughout the wood is what I ended up doing. I used a rug and a bristle brush to apply the stain. I could not use a foam brush because as soon as I put the foam brush against the rough uh, wood, it would just uh, fall apart. So I used a bristle brush and then um, a rag to just spread everything around. I mentioned that I was using the stain, same stain as I did for my stairs, but if you haven't seen my stairs, the stain that I am using is General Finishes uh, Gel Stain in Stain um, Black. Probably would have worked a little bit easier has it been not a gel stain, but this is what I had on hand, so I just wanted to use it. So once it had a time to dry, and you, I did not need to give it 20, 24 hours, I did, uh, just because the way the timing worked but you could have probably went ahead and did the next step within four hours so next I'm going to be applying uh, white wax it is by Annie Sloan this will give it almost like a little bit liming effect or more like just lightening up certain areas um, I got the idea from a Pinterest and I did like the way the thing the the project that they were working on turned out so I wanted to try it out here since the full staining did not work and as you can see, um, at that time, I had no kitchen. Everything was taken apart. The walls were torn out. The floors were torn out. So I thought this was a good, a good time to do this messy project. To apply it, I am using a uh, chalk paint brush or chalk wax brush. I have them linked in my Amazon store and I will link them down below if you want to check out which ones I was using. And then I just used a rag just to spread the wax around a little bit more and kind of get it um, more into all the little grooves and all the little accents that the wood had because like I said it was um, rough sod so I, it had a lot of character and I wanted to accent that. 
so i'm going to show you in just a second how this looks with the white wax on it so as you can see it just um made certain areas a little bit lighter and really is showing all the imperfections of this wood or all the beautiful accents of this wood so here's the whole piece um, done in that white wax and i really liked the way this looked but it wasn't quite at the stage that i wanted it to be so there is still one more step that i want to do Looking to So the last step that I did back starting in the same corner as the other one and I did give it again 24 hours to dry before I started on the next step. I am applying now the antiquing wax which is a brownish color uh, same brand any Sloan the same way as I did the white wax where I'm brushing it and I'm not gonna use um, the rag too much maybe just to to clean it up if there's big clumps but i'm just using the antiquing brush just to get into all the little grooves of the wood um, instead of using the rag um, this just helps i didn't want it to rub it too much where i'm actually going to be rubbing off the white wax in case if it didn't completely cure I'm just going to use the rag just simply to take off some of the clumps and uneven areas that maybe the brush has left. So I'm going to show you just what it looked like with white wax again, just so you have, um, can see it again. And this is what the antiquing wax did. So the white is still showing through, but now it's adding a more of a, uh, in my opinion, a barn board look. Here is the full piece up close and this is what it looks like in my almost finished kitchen well i hope you guys have enjoyed this video this is one of those uh, diy projects that cost so very little and have such a huge impact i have yet to come across a person that hasn't come into my home and commented on it um, uh, if you had enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I have no doubt. I know you really won't stay. Till the fires burn out.